robbing banks and trains clear across the territory, until Coffeyville, of course. I was one of the citizens who took up arms that day. Fighting on the side of right? I did my best, sir. We all did. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the dogs got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. The story was Bob Dawson's girl was always writing about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, he'd say. Finally, the bastard took his brothers to Coverville just to shut her up. Right. It's always the woman's fault. Well, the locals recognized the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. Their first mistake was pulling a job in their own damn hometown. We got us a hero. Put some holes in them! Others paid dearly for their stupidity, but everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. First of all, it was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The lawmen had been tracking the Dolphins for months. Now they finally had him dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by many a lawbreaker. This man had no intention of letting the Daltons slip away. The marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. Whoops. I thought I could drop down there. Apparently not. Those boys had a reputation as stone-cold killers. So the marshals took every precaution, knowing they wouldn't go easy. The marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. Tell him about the venture. We got a way to set the bitches out. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. We went in there alone to confront those criminals. One of the marshals shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? That rifle's mine. But he paid him no mind. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. Fortunately, a water tower was right there. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country.
men like him, who did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. Like Jim Boo, Davy Crockett, who died defending the Alamo. Greaves, and when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. It was early evening, not high noon. I was late to the party, and Coffeeville was already up in arms. It's you or me! Dalton's blew up a safe, and we're all set to hightail it out of there. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. I had been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. Finally, they did. Those stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. But they still had friends in Coffee. running with the money and didn't want to lose it. Problem was, they knew the town better than I did. And to top it off, I found myself in the middle of another shootout in time. Did the guy just pull up in somebody's house? No, oh, it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Dalton. They were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Dalton. Which wasn't any surprise, because those two families have been feuding forever. Since the Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths, pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, the 
Bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. <laughs> Shit happens. Dalton boys knew I would never give up. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, but they always stood together. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to plant me, just in case that trap of theirs didn't work. It was Emmett, the youngest, and he decided to stand his ground and face me down. I ain't afraid of you, Silas Grieve. This is where it ends for you. He was determined to protect his brothers. I understood how he felt. Taking me on all by his own support and exact aggressive. Fucking stuck. God damn it. I'm gonna send you to the bone orchard! Emmett Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? But I have to admit, that boy had grit. We 
you get those suckers! It took me a couple of days to track the Daltons down. They can't get away with this! And in that time, a whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. We'll track them to the ends of the Earth. They seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws. But as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army.